This is the last part of our discussions of compressible flow. In the last three videos, we have discussed the adiabatic frictionless nozzle, adiabatic frictional flow, and convergent divergent nozzle. From reservoir, the gas flows directly into the discharge of the pipe, and the flow is isothermal. This is called the isothermal frictional flow. The frictional flow is due to the presence of the long pipe. The conditions of the gas in each section is defined by pressure, temperature, velocity of the gas, and Mach number, others are density and mass velocity. These are the equations of isothermal flow. By differentiating the equation with respect to P2, we will have a maximum exit mass velocity G2, which is equals to P2 times square root of molecular weight over RT, and a corresponding maximum exit velocity V2 max, and so the exit Mach number will be already defined as equals to 1 over square root of gas ratio. Let's proceed to sample problems. You can pause the video to read and understand the problem. Solving for the exit pressure, we have the equation, and let's solve for the unknown variables. Mass velocity G1 is equals to 198.7 kg per meter squared seconds. Solving for the friction factor. Substitution of the variables into the equation, and calculating for exit pressure P2, we have P2 equals to 122,106.10 pascals absolute, equals to 1.21 atmosphere absolute. Now, I just want to emphasize how friction factor values affects our exit pressure. If we use Colebrook formula, we will have F equals to 0.00449 and exit pressure equals to 1.21 atmospheres. If we use the Moody diagram which is also from Perry's, we will have a slight change to the value of F which is now equals to 0.0044. In solving for exit pressure, we have 1.26 atmospheres. Solving for maximum length L, we have the equation. But we don't have P2, G1 and friction factor, so we are going to solve them first. To solve for G2, we need density 2 and velocity 2. Velocity 2 can be readily solved using the equation V2 max. 
To solve for density 2, we will be using the continuity equation. We can cancel area, because the pipe cross-sectional area is constant throughout the flow. Solving for density 1 using ideal gas equation, we have 13.19. And solving for V2 max, we have 214.70. Now calculating for density 2, we have 2.15. And finally solving G2, equals 461.65. Solving for friction factor using the Moody diagram from Perry's, we have F equals 0.0057. Substitution of all variables into the equation for Lmax, and calculating, we have Lmax equals to 38.49 meters. And that's it for isothermal frictional flow. This is the last part of our discussions of compressible flow. See you again for another set of videos. For any suggestions of topics please comment down below.